Well, hello and welcome to The One Show with Alex Jones. And Matt Baker. Now, tonight we are celebrating Eddie Redmayne's Oscar success for The Theory of Everything by testing, well, the theory of a few things. Yeah, for example, uh, <laughs> there is the theory that cute puppies can cut stress levels. And who would disagree? Oh. Looking at Elsie here. Oh, she's just woken up. How wonderful. Oh, I want to take her home. Um, and we are defying the theory of gravity with a performance from Cirque Elwaz. That's pretty oh, yeah. impressive, oh, that's, isn't it? Yeah, very, very much so. Now, all of this is perfect uh, for tonight's guest because he's become one of the biggest TV stars in America for playing a nerdy scientist in the sitcom The Big Bang Theory. Yeah, and you know your show's a hit when Stephen Hawking pops up in an episode. You made an arithmetic mistake on page two. <laughs> it was quite a... Please welcome Jim Parsons! <laughs> So, my word, perform and comedy. That was Steve one of the, Hawking. you just show one of the more intense days I ever had on that set. Really? Why, why was it so intense? Because it was Stephen Hawking. I mean, that was crazy. Yeah. Sheldon's dream. He was incredible, too. But it really was frightening to first look into his eyes because... I, I don't. Have you ever met him in person? No. He is the intelligence truly radiates out of them, and I thought, oh God, he sees right through me. Yeah. <laughs> he sees everything I'm thinking, and it just has that feeling. They're piercing these blue eyes. The other thing he did that was amazing was he demanded to. They could have pre-recorded his his bits in the computer voice, uh -huh. but he wanted to do them live as we acted them because it's, it's shot in front of a live studio audience this, well we pre-shot this in, without the audience but oh, he, right. he still wanted to do it with with me and him acting it and it was so intense because it worked beautifully most of the time there were times though specifically the end a couple of times i fainted and i'm face down on the ground and he has to give that line oh great another fainter and it would something would get stuck and it wouldn't come out and i would just sit there forever in the floor breathing going i'm not going to tell Stephen. would you hurry up you know it was so intense um but uh i was very pleased to get to work with yeah him. he's probably pleased to work with you too uh, I hope so. Yes. Uh, well, Jim's new film is called Home. Wasn't released in time for this year's Academy Awards, but maybe next year. Maybe very next good. year. Very good. Indeed. We all went to see it as a group outing, and you we loved it. We'll talk about it a bit later. Oh, thank you. we will. Yeah. But first, now. The well, thanks, Nick, and uh, of course to Rosemary as well. Uh, now, Jim, Ob Obama's health care reform is going through right now. Yes. And is it right that he um, he ended up in your recording studio when you were recording this? Having nothing to do with the health care, yes. He yes, ended up. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he was giving a speech, which could have mentioned health care that day, actually. He was giving a speech at DreamWorks, and so before that he took a tour of the DreamWorks campus, they call it there, and... Uh, Sort of, we were really working. Sort of, it was there to help with the tour. Steve Martin and I were both there recording that day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it wasn't a complete surprise. And even if it had been, the amount of Secret Service rolling around like mice in the DreamWorks would have tipped you off. <laughs> um, but whoa, was it intense. Yeah, how did you feel? Were you a little bit Just, overawed by it? I was completely awestruck the whole time. I've said, it's really hard for me to recall what happened because I just kept thinking, oh my God, it's the president. Oh my yeah, God, it's yeah. the president. That's really all I could think. He, however, was absolutely cool as a cucumber, which you would hope. You would hope. Well, that's what you'd want. It, well, the it, it was in just one of those things, though, it's really, I imagine not everybody would be like that. Even every president would be like that. He was just, it wasn't his turf, it wasn't his building, it wasn't his job, mm -hmm. and he was as relaxed as he could be. You would have thought you could have tempted him into the booth because the names of the <laughs> cast that is in this new movie yeah. is just it's a good extraordinary. Group. It really is. We went to see it, we said, as it was kind of a bit of a family outing. I took my children, five and seven years old, and, and pleased and, well, they, you absolutely nailed it. As far oh, as it they, they judged it. it to death and back. Yeah, no. <laughs> we're, we're now going on about blue mints and drinking lemonade out of the toilet. Isn't forevermore. that part charming? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> An alien's discovery of our public toilet system is just lovely. <laughs> but no, I mean, they laughed their way through all of the messages. And for Good. those that obviously haven't seen it yet, because it's not out till March, yeah. um, just give us an idea of, of, of the story and what it means. Well, in very short, an alien race comes and basically takes over Earth and tries to scuttle humans off to the side so they can use the planet. The alien I voice, his name is O, and he, through a few fouled attempts at humor, has uh, become an outcast in his own community. So he's sort of a 
fugitive on the run from his alien friends. He meets up with a girl, a little girl who has managed not to be captured by the Boov yet, the aliens, and she wants to find her mother, and we team up uh, sort of through necessity. And that's when kind of the fun starts, but also sort of the message starts. There's a real... These two creatures, the alien and the little girl, really approach each other with some real prejudged mm -hmm. feelings yeah. about each other. Mm -hmm. And through their trip, they learn how much they have in common. And it's a real simple little tale, if you think about it. But I think when you see it in context, it's very moving and very powerful of don't be so quick to decide nope. who somebody is before you let them reveal themselves well, to you. Well, we are going to try some of the themes in the film on you in a second. Oh, Just before Lord. we do that, yes. here's the very endearing, oh, meet and tip the human oh, character good. for the first time. Gotcha! Ooh. What for are you? And of course, all weekend we have been doing into the out now. Isn't that yeah, a lovely phrase? Yeah, which I love phrase? that phrase. It's so cute. I can come into the out now. Oh, <laughs> but as you said, it's like a moral compass for children. Lots of themes discussed. Yeah. So we thought we'd try some on you. Oh God. So, what yes. would you ban from Earth if you had the power to do it? Just for giggles, to see how it would go, I would like at least for a little while to ban the internet and see what happened. Oh, I know, and we break down. We oh, yeah. break down. But I wouldn't mind giving it a shot. Yeah. Very quickly, what would you take with you to another planet? I would take my two dogs and my partner Todd, and hopefully we could find food when we got there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, o and Tech become unlikely friends. Yeah. Who's your most unlikely friend? I think the one that surprises people most is that I have a friendship with a, a professional tennis player, the Canadian uh, female player, Jeannie Bouchard. Um, we became oh. friends through our agents. She was a fan of the show. They found out I was a fan of tennis. One thing led to another. And I don't know if you even know this, I was here all through Wimbledon last you were there. year. Yes. yes, at Wimbledon. I had never seen her play in person. We had an email relationship, and I ended up, I, I couldn't be here. I was working through her first round, which thank God she won. I got here as fast as I could, here for her second round, and she went all the way to the final. And they were so gracious to me. I sat between her mother and her coach, which is a stressful way to watch <laughs> Wimbledon. First time. But an amazing kind of once in a lifetime. For somebody who's not in sports at all, yeah, I, yeah, I, it's yeah. what a rarefied view. Well, listen, hang on to that thought of stress. Yeah. Because oh, okay. bizarre, that's our next topic. Oh, it is. We'll it's segueing beautifully. Yeah, it's oh, lovely. It's first, well. you can see Jim as uh, or the alien in home when it opens in cinemas. It's on the 20th of March. Yes. Now, all night, we're testing various theories. So next up is the theory of stress. Reduction. Now you are travelling quite a bit, Jim, promoting this film home. I'm at an eight. You're at an eight, stress an wise. Eight. I've okay. been doing press at 7:30 this morning, and that's serious. So that I'm is serious. Eight. I'm so pleased. Matt's are you? I'm so pleased. You're like my dogs. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <gasps> there we are. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Here we are. You may have seen her at the start meeting. of the program. I did. I didn't uh, realise we'd be we meeting. Are. Hi, baby. She's, she's all yours to have a little cuddle and a stroke and just oh. get those How stress does she like to be down. held? Yeah, well, just, you just relax. <laughs> what do you think, that sweetie? Oh, oh look. look, she's gone fast um, asleep. And we're going to find out the theory behind uh, all of this and more look at her. Uh, with oh. other de-stressing <laughs> devices in just a couple of Well, you don't want to have to do anything else. This is the show right there. <laughs> we, should just, we should just hold that This shot, moment you know, of zen on. for 20 minutes, we're done. <laughs> What are you going to say that's going to top this? Well, it's very difficult. Look at her we'll nose! <laughs> oh, she's killing me! Can I get this past customs? <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> well, Tell is... me you don't feel heavenly right now. This is better than a spa. We've got to cut away from this because, uh, incredibly, here's Dom with a bit of colouring in. How's it possible? Now, you might think... Well, it's all gone incredibly calm here in the Watch Your Studio. <laughs> And the appropriately named Dom is here now. Um, now, okay. Dom, can... So yeah, let's rub a match. <laughs> Perfect. Can you just talk me through some more of these stress-relieving gadgets that you've got here? I think it's it would be good karma, Matt, little. to actually thank Battersea Dogs and Cats Home for the loan of Elsie yeah. to start with. Okay. Now, as far as stress is concerned, Stroking pets, particularly young ones, is very, very good for releasing endorphins in our body, which subsequently yeah. makes you lose stress. Dundee University, funny enough, gave a lot of puppies to students that were sitting in an exam, and that particular year they had the least amount of complaints about stress 
ever. And they're going to wow. continue that experiment. Students with stress, eh? Poor little well, let's so. just check. Yep. You were at an eight. Where are you now? Four. Great. It works. <laughs> it's works. working. There. <laughs> <laughs> As far it's as the toys are concerned, it's, <laughs> it's going to get even worse here. Come on. Here Let me tell you how these are meant to work. There's two channels in your body. One is the sensory channel, which takes care of things like sight, sounds and smells. And the other one is the intellectual channel, which supposedly computes it all, puts it all together, and that's when we end up getting stress. It's trying to work it out. So when you play with toys like this, I mean, this sandpit here with, you know, this little comb, and you, you try and get rid of all the little ripples yes, in slowly, there. Darby, so oh, sorry, sorry. Spill out, okay, bro brother, sister, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Is that relaxing? No, that part's horrible. Yeah. But whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, what's, what's happening here is this is meant to be occupying our brain, the one that's trying to work out what's computing, what's uh -huh. going on. So, in theory, it's blocking out, it's mu muting the actual intellectual one. So, in theory, we should be getting more and more relaxed. You'll recognise these, of course, there, Jim. Are these William. stress balls? These are like stretchy. Stress yes. Me. That's yes. you. That's actually wow. you. Wow. And the idea Legend. of these, yeah. that while you're doing this, again, oh. the intellectual channel is not thinking about the sensory one. And, and yet my jaw is killing me as you do that. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> You've enchanted it. And yes. with that, Dom, we say thank you very Dom. much for your theories on stress. Thank you, Brother yeah. Matt. Sister Namaste, Alex. Dan. Thank you. That was really nice. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. Namaste. Dom doesn't back. normally dress like this, by the way. OK. Uh, now, here's Miranda. What an worried. audition from Marty Jobson to be in the Big Bang Theory. He's like, he's like the British version of Leonard. He is. Seriously, yeah, very he is. true. Do you know what? We've loved your company. We wish we had I longer to talk here. to you. I love being here. But forget <laughs> Big Bang Theory, this? forget home, because this yeah. is your big deal, isn't it? Yeah, is you're, this confusing You're going to become part of Cirque <laughs> Elwars. Yeah, I'm very excited. So you're rolling the hoop in, are I you? am rolling. I'm starting this off. Feeling OK about it? I feel mediocre confident, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Home is out on the 20th of March. Go and see it if you Yes, can. Uh, tomorrow we are joined by Alan Davis, but now time to leave you with Cirque Eloise, and you can see them on tour across the UK until April. See you tomorrow. Good luck, Jim. One, Go for it. Two,